Today we brought to you four amazing new Blender add-ons that are pushing the boundaries of what is possible to do as a Blender artist because they will help you to do things faster and smarter. Number 4. Nisagra This Blender add-on is a big library of natural assets that covers everything you need to create natural scenes and it contains many and different assets from trees, weeds, flowers, grass, shrubs, pots and so on. It is not the only Blender add-on that contains a library of natural assets, but it definitely adds many amazing and unique assets and a good level of quality, if you are interested in creating something like this. The number of assets you will get depends on the version you will have because there are three different versions, Ultimate, Pro and Light. Overall, the quality of the assets is amazing and it covers a wide range of natural environments, whether it be plants and vegetation you can find in the desert, underwater, mountains, you name it. Number 3. Notescapes This is a Blender add-on for terrain creation using a custom-built note editing suite. It was specifically created for those who want to create natural terrains with a high degree of control, flexibility and speed. Actually, it is one of the latest projects of the creators of True Terrain, True Space, True Grass and so on, and they are all amazing. This add-on is a nice addition to Blender because it uses nodes for mass generation, which is something that does not exist in Blender yet. So if you want to create terrains in Blender using nodes with all the flexibility you can get, then this add-on is the way to go. Also, you can use True Terrain add-on with nodescapes because they can work well together. This allows you to change your mesh and automatically update the materials. Notescapes gives you unlimited possibilities to create whatever you want, and you can be creative and get to the results you want. Number 2. Spiderfy Spiderfy is a new and powerful Blender add-on that allows you to create amazing simulations of a crowd of insect animations in a short period of time. You can do this easily and with a high degree of control using many settings and controls that allows you to get to the result you are looking for. This add-on is a great tool for adding unique bug effects. It can be especially handy when working on VFX shots and animation shots where there is a need to create moving insects whether it be flying ones such as flying locusts, crawling ones such as spiders in the background or even close-up shots because the insect assets are well designed and they are well textured as well. They look great in both Cycles and Eevee by the way. There are also other assets in addition to other ones that might be added in the future releases. The add-on comes with different assets and an intuitive user interface menu. It provides the ability to add various creature board particle systems with animated 3D assets attached. This will save you a lot of time and effort if you are planning on including bugs or insects in your shots. Number 1. Kiros Synth Synth is a great Blender add-on that can auto-generate 3D objects easily using few buttons. It is going to be a great time and effort saver if you need to create complex looking hard surface electrical and electronic boards and interfaces. It is very easy to use because it uses tools to iterate quickly and generate a multitude of different designs. Each time you auto-generate, you will get a different result until you get something that you are satisfied with. Synth is actually a part of Kirov's ecosystem. It works with both Kirov's Free and Kirov's Pro. The power of this add-on comes from the fact that it uses algorithms that are based on years of pattern design analysis. The developers of this add-on worked on it for months continuously improving it so you can get the best results with maximum efficiency. You actually have dozens of recipes that have been tested at your disposal, and the good thing is, Synth works with both GitOps inserts and your own inserts, which gives you more freedom and flexibility. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.